everyone, my name is Hannah, and over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to introduce you to the six most important resources for the Parallax ShieldBot with Arduino. The assessment material and standards alignment are only available with an educator login. We hope this short tutorial encourages you to dive deeper into our educational resources and join our community of educators. To start off, the first most important aspect of the ShieldBot for Arduino robot is the actual kit which is Parallax stock code 32335. The actual robot is available several ways, with or without Arduino, and as a conversion kit from the Bobot, which uses the basic stamp. This page links to the next thing I want to show you, the tutorials. The second most important resources are the tutorials. It's important to note that this kit includes a printed spiral bound book. Writing code is much easier on smaller student computers, like Chromebooks, Surfaces, or MacBooks, when you can have the coding tutorials side by side with the Arduino code editor. The printed tutorials are nice because it prevents the loss of thought when switching between an online tutorial and the Arduino editor. With the printed book, both resources are visible. The entire PDF of the book can be downloaded below by going to the bottom of the page and pressing on the Downloads and Documentation tab and then selecting the Robotics with the Board of Education Shield for Arduino link. You can duplicate and print this book as you wish, it's free. Next, if you scroll down, you will see a link to the Learn Online Tutorials. Click on it. From here, we're going to explore the Robotics with the Board of Education Shield for Arduino tutorials. Now you're seeing the chapters of the ShieldBot book on the left-hand side. This is the HTML version of the book. When you click on one of the chapters, you are taken to the activities that correspond to each chapter. Let's explore chapter 5. Once you're viewing the book chapters, you can follow through the activities by clicking through them and completing the projects. You can assess student learning of STEM principles with our third most important resource, our ShieldBot assessment materials. Using your educator login, you have full access to our free assessment material in addition to our comprehensive educator support. This kind of high quality, customer-centered support is only possible after years of development. To download the assessment material, you'll need an educator login. You can request one by sending an email to learn at parallax.com. You'll need to provide some verification proving you're a current educator, like sharing a link to your school's staff page. We require this verification in order to prevent students from accessing the material. Once you've logged in, navigate over to the Educator's Menu option and click on Robotics for the Bow Shield for Arduino Educator Resources link. Next, scroll to the bottom of the page where you'll find the assessment material. You can download assessments as PDFs or rich text formats. We provide both formats in case educators want to modify our material. You can use these assessments in your course. Questions correspond to specific chapters and all answers are on the last page of the assessment materials packet. The questions pertain to the science, math, coding, and logical context of the ShieldBot book. This brings us to the fourth most important resource for the ShieldBot, the standards alignment. The 27-page standards alignment shows how the ShieldBot meets the following standards. Common Core English Language Arts, Common Core Math, NGSS, K-12 CompSci Framework, Career Technical Education Standards, and 21st Century Competencies. The fifth most important resource you need to know about is Chromebook support. Parallax is a special arrangement with CodeBender.cc so Chromebook users can program our ShieldBot free to customers. With CodeBender, you now have complete support on Mac, Windows, and Chromebooks. To obtain a registration code good for the whole year, send an email to learn at parallax.com. The sixth most important resource for the ShieldBot are the add-ons. It uses the same robotic base common to all Parallax robots whether the processor is a propeller multicore, basic stamp, or Arduino. The single chassis design has line followers, color sensors, ultrasonic sensors with servos, and thousands of other shields available in the Arduino ecosystem. 
These add-ons give teachers an easy way to scaffold student learning. And with that, our tutorial is over. Thank you for tuning in. If you want to talk to us, call us on the Educator Hotline at 916-701-8625. Although we make robots, we're a company of over 30 humans and we like to hear from you. Thank you.